Hi everyone, I am Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. Welcome to the next section of this course. And in this section, we will build our first application that is a barcode scanner using MLKit. In this section, we will learn how to use the image analysis use case from camera X. Then we will use the image analysis to process the camera images to extract QR code information, if any. First, we need to get a barcode scanning client. And for this, we can use the class barcode scanning dot get client function. This function takes barcode scanning options as the parameter. Here, we need to use the barcode scanning options class to create a barcode scanning option. And using the set barcode format, we can set the format we want to scan. We need images to scan barcode. And to get the images, we are using camera. For making a camera, we used the Jetpack library camera X. And we already learned about building a camera preview that we did in the last section. Now we will use another feature of camera X that is image analysis. First, we will create an image analysis object and then we will set the analyzer using set analyzer function. And inside the trailing lambda of this function, we will get the image proxy that we can process to read barcodes from the image. The final step is reading the barcode that we will do using the barcode scanner that we created in the first step. To scan a barcode, we will call the process function from the barcode scanner object. This function takes an image as the parameter. We already have the image proxy and from the image proxy, we will get the image to pass to this function. To get the result, we will attach a success and a failure listener. Pretty easy, right? Now let's try doing it in our Android project. Inside our project, first we will open the app level build.gradle file. And here we will add the dependency that we require to scan the barcodes. And it is the barcode scanning dependency from Google's ML kit. Now we will sync the project. After this, we will open scanner activity. And here we will find one more private lead in it where and this time it is image analysis. So we have image analysis of type image analysis. Now here, after binding the camera preview, we will also bind image analyzer. So we will call bind input analyzer function here. And here we will define this function that is private fun bind input analyzer. Inside this function, first we will create our barcode scanner. So we have val barcode scanner of type barcode scanner and we will get it from barcode scanning, not options, but barcode scanning dot get client. To the client, we will pass barcode scanner options. And to build this, we will use barcode scanner options class. So it uses the builder pattern. So we have options builder dot set barcode formats and we will pass barcode dot format QR code and then we will build the option. So we have our barcode scanner here. Now we will initialize our image analysis object. So we will write image analysis equals to image analysis dot builder. It also uses the builder pattern. We will set the target rotation and we will get the rotation from preview view. So we will write the same thing as we written here. So we have pointing dot preview view dot display dot rotation. Then finally, we will build the image analysis. 
we also need camera executor so we will define a camera executor here and we will use a new single thread executor like this now we will set the analyzer to our image analysis object so we have image analysis dot set analyzer and it takes the executor as the first parameter so we will pass camera executor and the next parameter is the trailing lambda where we will get the image proxy now we will process the image proxy here but before doing it we will bind the process camera provider to the life cycle and this time we will pass our image analysis object so here we will write process camera provider dot bind to life cycle for the first parameter we will pass this the next parameter is the camera selector and finally we will pass our use case that is image analysis now we need one more function that will actually read data from barcode so we will define a function private fun process image proxy and this function will take barcode scanner so we have barcode scanner and image proxy so we will pass barcode scanner and image proxy to this function and we will call this function here we have process image proxy we will pass barcode scanner and image proxy now inside this function first we will get the input image so we have input image equals to input image dot from media image we will get the image from image proxy so we will write here image proxy dot image for now i am using this operator for making it null safe but you should not do it because it may cause a null pointer exception and for the next parameter we will write image proxy dot image info dot rotation degrees and then we have the input image this image here is giving an error so what i will do is i will press alt enter and i will select this option that is suppress unsafe opt-in usage error and the error is gone and now we will get the barcodes from this input image so we will use the barcode scanner to get the barcodes from this image so we will write barcode scanner dot process we will pass the input image and then we will add an on success listener and inside the success listener we will get the barcodes we will also attach an on failure listener inside failure we can simply log the exception so i will write add dot print stack trace you can handle your error separately and notify the ui but this is just an example that's why i am not handling the failure case and i will also attach add on complete listener now inside this listener we will close the image proxy it is very important so we will write image proxy dot close like this now inside the success listener we will get the barcodes and we will return this barcode to the main activity and to do this we will define barcodes inside this on scan function so here we will write on scan barcodes of type list barcode like this now inside on success listener we will make the call to this on scan function but to make the call we need to preserve this on scan parameter so what i will do is i will define a private where on scan and it will take barcodes list barcode and it will return unit and i also need to assign an initial value to this on scan var so what i can do is 
I can wrap this function syntax. I can make it nullable and then I can assign null. Now what I can do is I can set test.onscan equals to onscan like this. And now inside this add on success listener we will make the call to this on scan but first we will check if barcodes is not empty so if we have some barcodes we will call on scan dot invoke and we will pass the barcodes and then we will set the on scan to null and we will finish this activity and that's it now our scanner should work so let's test it so we have the application here and now i will open the scanner and the camera is working fine but we need a qr code and for generating a qr code i can use any online tool so this is the qr code generator let's put some random value to our qr and now i will scan this qr so if i take the camera to the qr our scanner is closed and we are back to the main activity that means it is working fine but we also need to display the qr information inside main activity so let's do it very quickly so we will open main activity and we will go to the design of the main activity that means the layout file so let's open activity main binding and here we will create an area to display the qr code information so this is our design here we will display the type of the qr and the content of the qr and at the bottom we have the button to open the scanner now let's go back to main activity and here when we are starting our scanner we are getting the barcodes in the trailing lambda now we can get the barcode information from this barcodes so what we will do is we will write barcodes dot for each and for every barcode we will display the value right now it will display just the last value in the ui but it is okay because we are going to scan only a single barcode so here we will write when barcode dot value type and we can check if the type is url in that case we can display url and the content if the type is contact info we can display contact and the barcode information and you can also write other types but because this is just an example i am just writing two types if you go to barcode dot you can see we have a lot of types so you can play with these types now i will add one more condition that is else in case of any other type and for each type i am displaying the type and the barcode content and in the else case i am just displaying the raw value from the barcode and in this case i am getting url in this case i am getting contact info so now let's test our application again so this is our application now let's try scanning the qr code again so i will open the scanner and here you can see i can scan the qr code and i am getting the qr code information the type is other and the qr content is the content that we put so it is working absolutely fine and that's all for this section in case you have any problem or confusion or question you can leave it in the comments below and make sure you like this video and you subscribe to simplified coding so thanks for watching this is pelal khan now signing off